celebrating 25 years of building lives and structures under the mighty hand of God is something that one can never ever, 25 years ago, contemplated. Copen started as a product of God's intervention in our lives to show us that he can, out of nothing, build something that will be used to glorify his name. And therefore, Copen is a product of God's intervention in my life, in my family, in the family as a whole, the Chime family, and other people who, in one way or the other, he has brought along to be part of the building block of what we now see at Copen Group. The core values that we cherish so much is to note that it's all about God. It's not about our inadequacies, our limitations. It's not about our enemies who seek to hinder God's work through hindering us. That is it about our loved ones who, like Peter, sought to hinder Christ. They in one way seek to hinder us. But it has always been all about God who sees the cries of people their problems, their pains, and chooses us as solution carriers for him, as mere distributors of his manifold grace, for which we are very grateful. And we, he has always reminded us that who we become in his hand is more important than what we have, either in our bank account or the number of projects we have delivered. And therefore, we always look at the issue, threefold ministry which he gave to us, that of mentoring people, having allowing us allowing him to mentor us and using us to mentor people about poverty alleviation and housing for all. These core values of dependency on God and the question he asked me in 1996, if I bless you, will you remain humble, have been the guiding light of our operation. While all the issues around us may change, while the product name magnitude may change, the core values that we must protect are those core values he share with us because we know that success is doing the will of God, and that the spiritual things control the physical things. And that is where our heart is on, to make sure that at all times, both the project, the process, and the end must all be aligned to the will of God. For that is why we are here on earth. And for this, we are very grateful to God. We want to celebrate God and celebrate the many vessels he has brought our way from inception up to now. I remember so many of them. I remember so many of them who over the years, people like uh, my mother, who gave me over to the Lord and said, my son, whatever the Lord asks you to do, please go ahead and do. Don't ask me, because out of love, I may seek to hinder you. And to thankful to my wife, who has always been there, and no matter how God asks us to move ahead, she is always there to say, I'm behind you. Make sure you do the will of God. I'm very grateful to her. I'm grateful to my brother, Ike, who has always been there, who was with me from inception, and has always been there, through thick and thin. I'm thankful for very many vessels, like Albert Erdoga, who was my boss in the service, and was always there guiding me. Very grateful to people like late Professor Chukwemeka and his Adibe, who have been there, and other vessels over the years, governors who have used Abaje, uh, Chimaroke, um, so many other people. We find you going as some other vessels at the federal level, at the state level, all around us. It's not been a one man thing, it's been a combination of God using willing vessels to do great and awesome things. Whether I'm here, I'm not. They must know that the core values are irrefutable and they form the foundation and the cornerstone. And no other core values can be built outside of doing the will of God, which for us defines success. And whatever else we may see in terms of growth, in terms of number of projects, they mean nothing insofar as his name is glorified, insofar as the lives of people are built, insofar as we have people who have understood and are carrying the vision and even in times like this, God still reigns in the affairs of men. And in times like this, in tandem with Second Chronicles, 
chapter 16, verse 9a, the eyes of the Lord range to and fro over the earth, searching for men whose hearts are perfect towards him, to prove himself mighty on their behalf. And that is the message we have. And that is the message must resonate, even in hundred years to come, if Jesus tarries, that God is in charge. And as many as are willing to subscribe to his sovereignty, his leadership in their lives, as many as willing to do all things they are doing without looking at themselves and their qualifications and abilities, without looking at the people he has given them to go and serve, whether they are qualified, whether they are grateful, to such ones, our God will continue to prove himself faithful. And therefore, that is the 25 years I'm looking at. I attribute it only to one thing and one thing alone, God. God has been in the middle. Like he says in the book of Romans chapter 11, is from him, through him, and to him are all things, and for which we are grateful. And that's why we're asking you, that is watching us, to join us in thanking that God. And the part of thanksgiving that we shall give to him is to remember to keep on looking to him as the author and finisher of our faith. That will not allow society to mold us or define us, but allow God's word to define us, set us free to fulfill destiny. Thank you for listening to us, and remain blessed. Thank you.